Hi everyone, this is Nikki. I'm so glad to have you on the channel today. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and let's talk about background stamps. Background stamps are often um, overlooked in your stash and I'm going to show you a way to step those up mastering some rainbow ink blending on your stamps. Now don't worry, everything that I use here will be listed in the description, but we're going to start with three colors, a version of red, yellow, and blue, both a light and a dark. Don't forget to comment on this video. This is part of a video hop for Honey Bee Stamps and their new release. So you want to make sure that you comment with the emoji that I'll tell you later in the video. It is very important to us designers and YouTube creators that you watch the whole video. So when we're doing these hops, it helps us if you will go through that video and let it play. Make sure that you grab that emoji and drop it in the comments for a chance to win one of two $50 gift cards to Honey Bee stamps. Okay, my usual MO for rainbow ink blending is to start with my pinks and reds and then go in rainbow order so that I don't lose all of that idea. Today, what we're going to do is something completely different. We are going to start with the yellow and we're going to try to use only three colors to create lots of different colors. So we have to kind of think about our color theory here. I'm going to apply this color with a blending brush to start out on my stamp. And you can tell where this color goes on the stamp. Some people are worried you know that they can't tell where exactly it is but it doesn't really matter when you're applying it with a blending brush it's going to be a light stamped color and it just kind of gives you an idea of where you are in the stamping if you want to do this darker I'm going to show you a way later on that we do it darker but we're going to start off with just adding yellow to most, I would say the biggest areas that we're going to do. So I'm going to do two different yellows and I'm going to try to make them darker towards the middle and just a little light towards the outside. Now this is yellow. It's going to be hard to see how this stamps, but when you're using a stamping tool like this, I'm putting lots of pressure because this is a very large stamp. So that yellow color was Shea Butter from Catherine Pooler. Like I said, I'll list all these colors for you. Now I'm gonna go in with my red. I thought about starting with pink, and then I realized it's stamping really light, so I wanted to take my darker color, which is rouge, and I decided I would start with that to get some color down on the paper. I like to go ahead and get my three colors on the page, then go back in and add extra color and extra blending to create that rainbow. Now I'm going to bring the pink or the rouge from each of the two corners, not all the way to corner on one side. And you really can put this however you want to in order. I know it's still really hard to see that because it's very light, but let me show you what we're going to do with the blue to kind of darken up our colors and we'll keep adding layers here. So I start with my lightest blue, which is tranquil. And I blend this on here. Tranquil's a very light blue. I thought that it might work, but it just was too light. So I'm going to move to using stone blue. So here's the other technique. This ended up working to get more of a dark layer. So what I did is took the stamp pad directly to the rubber stamp, and then I used my blending brush to make sure that I was blending that out. I didn't want to take all the ink off, but look at how much darker this starts to look, which is really good. So I'm going to take from here on out, I'm going to take my ink pads directly to the um, pad and then blend them out so that I can get a little bit more color here on my project. Now it's just a matter of preference on how dark you want this background to be. I'm one of those like bright color people who loves that. You see how the colors are mixing together and creating. So your rouge plus your shea butter is creating an orange in the middle, which is awesome. And then you've got your blue and then the next yellow, which creates some green. Then I went back and did rouge plus some more blue, and that's creating a purple. So you really can get all of your colors on your rainbow just by using three ink colors. And like I said, keep blending and adding until you're happy. If there's a couple areas you want to make more of a blend, then just add more ink in that area and kind of blend it together. So if I wanted to make a little bit more green or I want this to show up just a little bit more, you can follow the wording on this background stamp and say, oh, it's right there on that birthday or right there on that and add your ink to that area. Just make sure you're blending everything so that the results stay consistent. Okay, now once you're finished, 
you may want to protect this ink. So what I'm going to do is wipe off my stamp and I'm going to clear heat emboss over this. And the reason is I just don't want any smearing or anything to happen to my beautiful background. I want to keep working with it. And then we're going to coordinate our sentiment for this. Make sure that your stamp is completely dry before you put on any embossing ink. And you may be fine with this Catherine Puller ink. It does stay wet for a little bit longer, but I wanted to be absolutely sure. So I'm adding some embossing ink to the top of this. I did dust it off with a powder, an anti-static tool. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of clear ink and then clear embossing powder to protect this. Okay, for all of you participating in the video hop, here is your chance to get the emoji that you've been wanting. So I want you to put any type of birthday emoji in your comment to be entered to win one of the two gift cards from Honeybee Stamps. There are going to be two $50 gift cards, and there are only four or five videos in this hop, so you've got a great chance. I'm going to add the embossing powder now, and we will finish up this video with a little bit more ink blending to create a coordinating sentiment. So this clear heat embossing, once you heat it up, really protects your ink blending so it doesn't smear. You would hate for any of this to smear on the white part and, and just not look as good. So I did this. You do have to be careful when you're doing a full panel like this of heat embossing. Be careful with your hands. I usually start an area with myself holding behind it. Then once I get an area mostly done, I can kind of hold the edge with tweezers. But this whole panel, I had cut to the A2 size, so I don't want to have to cut this panel down. So I'm just going to keep heat embossing carefully over it. So here's how beautiful that looks. And now we don't have to worry about the ink smudging at all. So we've got this wonderful background. We need to create a sentiment that is going to be as special as this. So I'm going to use this big happy birthday die from Honeybee Stamps new release. And I cut a piece of paper that's about the same size so that it helps me figure out where I need to go with my ink blending. I originally had made some marks on paper, but I decided just to cut the paper down to make it easier. We're going to use the same theory with the same colors, so rouge, stone blue, and shea butter. And we're going to ink blend here with these three colors to create a multicolor look, okay? And this is going to be a little bit darker than when we were stamping and blending because we're taking this ink blending directly to the paper. And I also just like it being slightly brighter so that it shows up better. I am going to start again with the yellow through the middle because we're trying to get really three colors out of the yellow. We want it to blend with our red and create orange, and we want it to blend with our blue to create some green. So I'm going to make a third of this yellow at least, maybe even a little extra just to make sure I get those blends on the opposite sides of it. So here's how much ends up being yellow, and I do make it darker just because I wanted to add a lot of color to this sentiment. We're going to use some embellishments with this sentiment, but we're going to mainly make this be kind of the star of the show. And it, it kind of reflects what we've done in the background, which I really think makes a very cool, coordinated, fun to look at card. Now you notice me using a paper towel to wipe around this area. The reason is because I had, with this sticky mat that's behind this piece of paper, I had some yellow on it and it was bringing the color into my blue a little too early. I do want those two colors to mix, but I want to have control over that. So I'm going to wipe in between these colors so that I'm not accidentally mixing them and messing up my beautiful rainbow. And I'm going to move in a little closer just so you can see these colors mixing. Look at how good that red looks with the yellow there. It makes a beautiful orange. Just going to add a little bit more color to this. And you see now on this clear mat how much ink gets on the side. So you do have to be careful that you're not grabbing that red ink when you do the rest of your rainbow. Let me show you what this looks like cut out. It's going to look so good. So you adjust how you want this rainbow and then send it through the die cutter. This is what it looks like. I'm going to, I've got a piece of vellum here that's the shadow so this die comes with two pieces and then I'm putting this over it and yes it looks good like that but I feel like it needs just a little bit of extra to make it show up I think about putting um, embellishments all over and I will use those but here's a quick trick to make your lettering show up make those letters show up even better I'm adding glue to the back of my rainbow letters 
and I've cut the exact same letters out of black cardstock. So what I'm going to do is create a shadow behind my letters. Just like you do this on um, anything else, when you create that shadow, it really helps emphasize your letters. I would definitely do this with glue because you have the freedom to move these letters a little bit and have them create that shadow. So I'm just pressing down and trying to keep the shadow pretty equal around the letters. And doing the same with the other half of the sentiment too. I've put glue on the back and then I'm going to adjust to make it just a very small shadow to the left of the letters is kind of how I'm doing it. Just pick a direction you want to go and make your shadow go that direction. Now I have beautiful letters with that very small shadow that really show up. Now you could glue these on, but you do need to be careful about glue and vellum. Sometimes it will squish out from behind it and make a little spot on your vellum. So I'm adding little pieces of adhesive on these letters and I'll put it on here. And then let me show you the embellishments and we'll be done with this card. Okay, and I couldn't resist mentioning, did anybody notice that I have light rainbows on all my fingers? <laughs> I'm so excited about my fingernail polish this time. Now that's all that's left to do is to add three embellishments by this B and then I did three coordinating embellishments by the H kind of in a symmetrical type way. And I'll show you this card up close. Make sure if you are joining in the video hop that you put the emoji, comment, subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you're not, joining the video hop. I would love for you to do all those things as well. Um, but you do have a chance to win a Honeybee gift card. And I think that you would love this new release. If you love birthday cards and just love creating, it, they have some really good products that have come out. So the next person in the hop will be listed in my description. So go to the description of this video. You'll find the supplies. You'll find out how to find me. And you'll find out which video you need to go to next. Okay, let's look at this card up close. That ink blending just makes me smile. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Hope that you learned some new techniques or that you'll get out those ink blending tools and have fun with your rainbow ink blending. Even if you only have three colors, look what we did with three colors. So amazing. I'm going to pop up a video here I think you might be interested in, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!